Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and now it's something different. I am going to reorganize my pantry. As you see, it was not functional for us. We were just throwing things in here and now I need to get in and reorganize the pantry so it can function better for my family. And I am really excited of how things are going to take place. So you see the before picture of my pantry. So let's take everything out. And so basically what I did, I took everything out. I didn't show you that process because it was just tedious, I thought. But yeah, I went ahead and took everything out and I decided that I want to do something different in my pantry this time. I want to put some shelving at the bottom and utilize um, more at the top. But let's see how this is going to come out. First, I decided that I'm going to go ahead and put this shelf together. I purchased two from Lowe's. Um, and I was going to use this in my closet in my room. But I was like, okay, let me start with the pantry since I already did the wallpaper last year and got a lot organized um, in this pantry. So now I'm going to make it more functional for my family so i'm just showing you that i'm putting this um putting this box together the storage area that i'm just going to put some of my items that i don't use too often in the house so that's what i'm using um the shelves for and i thought i was going to use the um dividers or whatever but i decided not to those are the um the storage bins that i had on top of the shelves and i wanted to put them at the bottom so it can be more functional so basically i'm showing you kind of like the layout of how i want my pantry to be i'm not sure if i'm going to keep this layout or not i'm just testing it out just to see if i want it that way but here, I decided that I'm using several bins for chips. Then you have the ketchup bin, whatever um, condiments I need right there. And then I have my spices, um, my canned goods in something. And then I have my chips and um, cookies and sugar in, in containers as well. And then at the bottom, I have things that I don't use occasionally. Um, so basically I'm showing you that I have stuff in all those bins that, you know, I maybe use them once a month or whatever, whatever, but I wanted to make sure the toaster and the, uh, waffle maker was there with paper towels and all the paper products and stuff like that. I keep my breads. I keep my popcorn and oatmeal in the container. I also keep in these, I, I know I got those from Walmart. Um, balls um, containers so I keep like the rice and and everything in there and just small containers that I have for things that I need like ketchup packages and small stuff like that so you're just seeing all the stuff that I have um, in um, my containers like cereal and coffee mix just different things but at the top it's kind of empty everything that was on the top is now at the bottom so I have more room for storage and it's more functional for my family I decided to put bless our nest up there but um and here's my trash can and I eventually moved it not by the window but over to the side and I think it's more functional. This is the after effect of after I cleaned it out and put everything back and threw a lot of stuff that we was not using away. That just was clutter. Just trying to make sure everything functioned for my kids, my husband and myself. And honestly, I love how it came out. Um, and the basic thing is to really just make a layout of everything that you want in your pantry and just make it functional for you so this is the after i love it do you 
Thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. Have a good one. Bye.